Hi guys and welcome to another Beaver Builder video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well in this video today we're going to see how quickly we can put it together a one page scrolling website with a fantastic Beaver Builder. Now I'm using the Beaver Builder theme here. You can download it from my affiliate link below this video. And that goes for the Beaver Builder itself if you just want that standalone. Now to build this today, I would suggest you check your theme. Uh, like I say, I'm using the Beaver Builder. It's going to allow me to, to build full screen. Some themes give you a bit of a hard time building full width. You want to make sure that you've got a theme that does that for you. I would suggest you use the Beaver Builder theme though. So let's get started. Let's add a new page. I'll give it a title. I'll just call it one page, I suppose. And let's launch the Beaver Builder. Once loaded, I'm going to go over to templates here because we're going to use a template today. And as you can see, it comes with all kinds of different templates here. I'm going to grab that first one on the top. And they're divided into different sections, content pages, save templates if you've built your own, and landing pages. I'm just going to grab the first one I see, which is Zen Life right here. And there it is, it's loaded on there. So we're done, that took about two minutes. No, I'm kidding. Let's create a menu and make sure we can scroll through these various sections here. Now any of these titles, content, sections, you can just go in by going in, just clicking on the actual layer itself, change the text to whatever it is you want. Same with every other section with buttons. You can go in and change the links. Again, just click on it, it'll open up. General tab, select dial. Here's the link. There's where it's linking to at the moment. It's already got a link in there, which is a hashtag, which is a CSS ID. So let's see where it actually goes. Let's save this. And we'll hit done. Save draft. Let's see where this button actually takes us. Okay, that takes us down to that section. So that section's obviously got a CSS ID. Let's enable our builder. Go down and decide where we want to link to because we'll create a little menu. To, and we'll have it linking to these various sections. So we've got a contact. We'll have a stats testimonials and we're already linking to this that should do it okay so let's go back in there enable the beaver builder when it's enabled let's go down to our various sections we know this has got a CSS ID of I think it was info we can use that in our menu too let's go in there and have a look I'm just left clicking on the little wrench spanner icon there let's go over here to the three little dots click on it look in the advanced go down a little bit yeah there's a CSS ID at the bottom there and as you can see it's called intro now we use these CSS CSS IDs with hashtags when we're creating links to scroll to them and CSS IDs unlike classes have to be unique or it will confuse your site. So let's get out of there. Let's go down to our next section, which is right here. See what we've got going on here. Advanced. All the way down to the bottom. It's got no idea. I'm going to call it test for testimonials, T-E-S-T. -E we'll have to remember these when we create the menu. Let's save that. Next section that we want to link to don't think we'll link to that one. Let's call this one stats again, little wrench. Three little dots to advanced, down to the bottom. ID, this one's got intro as well, so let's call this one stats. Now 
move on down we won't link to that one and this is a contact oh, I guess it's a sign up rather than a contact so let's hit the little wrench three little dots down to the bottom and we'll say sign up or sign keep it as simple as possible and it's got to be unique so let's save this once saved obviously you've been in edit it whatever you want you can edit again with these images and galleries and what have you you can just go in there and, and edit the gallery change the photos out it's really self-explanatory it's really easy to do so we're done And I'm actually going to publish this page because we'll be looking at it in a moment. Okay, now let's go back to our dashboard and create a menu that will scroll to these various sections. Now we need to go down to Appearance and go down to Menus. And let's create our first menu. So we'll hit the Create a New Menu. And let's call it One Page. hit the create menu button and we can start adding content now for this today we're going to use custom links because we're scrolling to various sections in the URL box you just need to put a hashtag because you have to have a link in there and this hashtag is gonna link to the section names that we we created so I'm going to leave one as just a hashtag like that, which will take us right to the top. Hashtag will always take you to the top of the page. And I'm going to call it home. That way they can jump back up the top. Added it to the menu. Let's do another one. Next one wants to go to our intro section. So it was called intro, the CSS ID. So it's hashtag, then CSS ID, intro. And we'll call that about. Then we had one called testimonials or test for testimonials. So it's hashtag CSS ID, which is test. And we'll say testimonials. Then we had one called stats. So it's hashtag CSS ID, which was stats. I guess I'll call that stats. And the last one was sign up. Hashtag CSS ID that we just called it sign. And for the actual link text, the link text I should have mentioned before is what's going to appear in the menu. You'll see in a moment. So let's say sign up. Let's save this. We'll save our menu. Now then, let's go down to customize right here. Now we've created the menu. By default, it's going to show you the blog post page and we haven't got any. This is just uh, what comes when you first install WordPress. So let's go down and we'll go down to settings and set our page as the home page home page settings if you're using a different theme it might look slightly different but they will have a home page settings there somewhere just take a look through I want to set this to a static page and let's give it one page which is the one we just created and there we are it's popped up with the, the little template we created right there let's go back now and assign our menu so we want to go back all the way and let's scroll on down to menus and select the menu that we want which is the one page we just created there it is and we need to assign it tell it where it needs to be well I want it to be in the header menu and there you can see it's added it 
to our header menu up here. We're not using a top bar at the moment. If you want to, you can put it in the footer as well. I don't think I'll do that. Let's just publish this, visit the site, and see if it's going to work for us. Now let's exit out. And visit the site. Okay, let's try out our menu. Home, I won't click on that because it's going to be right here. About. Yep, that takes us down to that little info section. Testimonials. There we go. Takes us to that little testimonial slider there. Stats. Takes us down to our little bar counters there. Sign up should take us all the way to the bottom. And there we go. Hit the home and it'll jump straight back to the top again. And also, if we go back down there, you've got a back to the top button here. I've got it enabled on this theme, which will take them back to the top also. Now, this little button, it had the hashtag of info, so this should take us down to that little info section too. There we have it. So there you have it, guys. That's how to create a one-page scrolling website in about 15 or 20 minutes with a fantastic beaver builder. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.